Good. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today I have this DD50. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today I have this DD13 engine. This is from the year 2013. And uh, the reason why I am showing you this, uh, this engine today is because it has a major problem, which is a broken cylinder block. As you can see, it's a big orifice that happened here. So not only the engine block broke, also the starter that was here was broken. And um, it is because of the cylinder number six, which is this one, the last one from the front, um, the connecting rod got damaged. That is the crankshaft right there. You can see how damaged it looks. And uh, you can see the bolts of the housing. See, this is a bolt from the housing and holds the entire bell housing of the engine. It's right here because of the cylinder block uh, completely broken and the damage goes all the way here so this piece of the engine block is just being held by other bolts and are below but i mean if you remove those bolts that piece will fall completely from the engine and not only from this side also from the other side uh, we have damage and the damage happened to reach the air compressor you can see how the air compressor is completely broken See, it broke apart right from here. You can see the crankshaft of the air compressor. And yeah, you can see the movement of the air compressor is only being held by this line right here and by the crankshaft, then it's still connected to the other side of the housing of the air compressor. Um, in this side, come this, in this side, you can see the connecting rod all the way in here that is the connecting rod then actually damaged the air compressor and um, it, it also broke the cylinder block and um, destroyed the hardness as well the hardness of this engine was completely destroyed the old pan was also destroyed and i don't know what else we're gonna find because the engine is still together we haven't take, uh, we haven't removed the components of the engine, but if we open the engine, probably we're gonna find damage inside the cylinders, pistons, and probably cylinder head, because when a damage like that happens, usually happens when the engine is going on high speed. In this case, uh, I don't know the reason why this engine went bad. I have no knowledge about it, so this is something that I have no idea how it happens. What I know is then the engine probably was going on high RPMs and that's how this happened. Probably the engine was damaged before and eventually the bearing gave out and destroyed the engine block. So for engines like this, there is no way to get a repair because this engine is completely destroyed. So the best way to repair a damage like this is replacing a used engine and um, used engines are happen to be in any conditions so when you buy a used engine you don't know in what condition that engine is going to be so the best way to prevent any problems especially when you buy used engines is then you have to lift the engine up enough i mean high enough so you can replace the the connecting rod and the main bearings the oil pump the oil pump orange and then suction manifold because they use pretty similar technology to technology the DD15 engines so they have similar issues so if you happen then you are going to replace your engine just follow these steps and that way you are at least going to have a better investment on repairing this problem because a new engine like for example this is a DD13 engine and DD13 engines are very hard to get. DD15 engines are common, but DD13s are not. So an engine like this can cost between 10,000 all the way to 15,000 depending on the conditions, mileage, and who is selling it. In this case, the engine we got, the replacement engine we got, is already on that white truck and you can see all the way uh, in, in the background. 
uh, that uh, was replaced already and that engine cost $12,000 itself. Now, including all the parts, including bearings, including suction manifolds, oil pump, oil, coolant, gaskets, and any and engine harnesses and all the other things that were uh, damaged because of this problem and needed to be replaced anyway because we took apart the engine, um, uh, the total is around $25,000 just to do a new engine of course right we have new motor mounts we have new oil new gasket new oil pan um, new clutch as well because the owner wanted to have a new clutch so there's many different components but it's still like it's a lot of money twenty five thousand dollars to replace an engine is a lot of money but that is only because that is broken if you have the question if my dd13 my dd15 in this case in general uh, engine is broken. Can I reuse any of the parts that are in this engine? And the answer is yes, you can reuse parts. For example, injectors are reusable, so you can remove them. As long as the needle of the injector is not damaged, you're fine. So if you remove the injectors and you find no damage on the injectors, you can reuse them. The turbocharger can be reused. EGR cooler can be reused. Alternator, AC compressor, and oil modules, as long as you replace the oil cooler, fuel module, fuel pump, in this case, the fuel pump didn't receive any damage, all that can be replaced, I mean, removed and reused somewhere else. Um, in this case, since we bought an engine, there was a whole engine with all the components, we didn't need to remove any of these components because the other engine already came with us. So it makes the job a little easier and also it's a very fair price because when you get an engine for $12,000 with all the components, it's a very nice price because you are not replacing any of the components, everything is already to install. You don't have to do any adapt any modifications or anything or buy gaskets and stuff like that. Then you will need, if it didn't come with exhaust manifolds, it didn't come with turbos or AC compressors and stuff like that. But in this case, it was ready to install. But uh, this is just a little uh, talk I wanted to do about this DD13 engine. And this problem can happen to any engine. DD13s are not the only ones that have this problem. DD15s have this kind of problems with the engine block. Engine block can break because of a connecting rod that shoots out. Um, DD15, Cummins ISX, uh, Max Force, Volvos, any engines are, are exposed to this problem. But of course, right, the amount of money you have to spend to repair the problem will vary depending on the years, model, the parts you're getting, and uh, the condition of your parts, and the, and the damage, the severity of the damage that you have. Um, anyway, this is just a talk, a little more information for you guys, because I know many of you ask me about like, what it's like to replace an engine, can I, re can I reuse any of the parts from my engine, or how much it is to re repair an engine. So here, here is some information. Um, any questions, comment below. Wanna see what I'm doing on Instagram, check me as Francisco Maya YouTube um, and um, follow the channel, follow me on Instagram and thank you for watching.